Welcome back traders. As you know, I am the Ichi Mocha trader. Um, I base all of my strategies off the Ichimoku setups and uh, I've added a couple of indicators which I will be going through in the videos. I took a few trades today, a total of six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Um, didn't do great to start the day. Actually, it was the last trade of the day that actually turned things around. Uh, so we're gonna start right away here with ENSV. ENSV. So here we go. Uh, this one had come up on the scanners. Of course, all of my stuff come up on scanners. And then I watch other live traders, usually momentum traders is what I watch. Uh, Relentless Trader RT. He's on YouTube every day, probably around 9.15. And uh, he is a momentum trader. So I am looking at this going uh, long. I have my uh, cloud here. Um, green, I have my uh, moving averages within the Ichimoku um, strategy here uh, set up crossing the blue across above the orange. I have my lagging indicator clear of all the clouds and uh, price action. Uh, I am looking at this to go long and uh, here on these candles I'm looking at some of this stuff, the high of day, as well as kind of some of these pivot points. So this here is something that I'm interested in because I'm thinking that uh, the momentum traders are gonna be going long on that and we're gonna get a push for the high of day. Um, in the end, we actually did. So uh, the issue for me on this trade, which really caught me was uh, we, we opened up on this one. I took this trade at the high here. This, this pivot kind of, it's not really a pivot, but anyways, this, this area here is the high that I was looking to go long so that we could go to the top and break through. So I was expecting this to continue up. Uh, I did have my cross here right at the 10. I have my RSI stochastics at 10 and 90. And uh, I thought, ah, this is setting up fairly well. Um, it came in, it pushed up through the high there, and then it immediately rejects back down. This actually was bobbing back and forth here. I should have seen that this long, whenever it goes long like that, I used to go short. I used to be a contrarian short day trader. So um, I, I recognized that right away, but I thought, oh no, we're gonna push through. I didn't, didn't think about it. Uh, push the button, uh, I moved actually my break even up and uh, got taken out with the break even. Uh, rate, do, 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 do. the next one, I thought, okay, I'm gonna try again. <laughs> it was more of an emotional trade. I wasn't, uh, wasn't in the zone. So you can see here, I actually end up taking a bit of a loss when I saw this uh, tail here come down, I thought, I thought, oh, we're gonna come down and test that VWAP, that pink line right here that follows up and around to here. I figured for sure we we're gonna go down to there. So when that thing popped back up uh, at the end of that candle, um, I got out, I got filled a little, a little lower than where it closed there, but, um, getting into here. So I immediately took zero uh, profit on that first one, but I didn't lose anything. And then on the next trade on ENSV, I lost uh, 280 euro. Not good. Um, let's see what happened next on that one. Yeah, it, it did come down and it tested that uh, VWAP and it gave me a doji on that one. This would have been a beauty to come in and grab some, but I'm an Ichimoku trader. I do not do that. Uh, it's, it's uh, for me, that's more gambling than anything. So we'll just go ahead. I took one more trade on ENSV and I'll just bring it ahead. I just want to show people like when I do this clicking here, I want to show people how long it takes for an actual setup. These, these ones here, obviously they didn't set up the way that I wanted them to. I should never have been in them. Um, 
but sometimes you're a little off and you're making trades you shouldn't be. It's just the way, uh, the, the life of a, of a day trader. Um, but I am waiting for this one. This one actually set up Ichimoku already here, but I'm way too high on the stochastic RSI and uh, I'm just, I'm not feeling this is the right spot to be going short yet. I want to have this actually in and above my, my 90 up here. So let's uh, continue and see how we do. So now I've got this cross here on the MACD. It's looking beautiful because this is an actual rejection back down below that uh, orange line. So I'm definitely going on the next one. So I'm going to wait on this next candle. At the end of that candle, I went short. I liked it as well because we have, of course, we have the hair. The hair that came up and, and it came back down. It's showing that it doesn't have the strength to continue in that direction. Let's see how that works. Okay, when it came up, I have move my, as, as soon as this thing opened and closed and it started to come together here and the blue started to come back, straight back up to the orange again it's, I was uh, thinking, uh, you see the 200 moving average, it actually rejected here at the moving average. It's coming, it didn't quite get there and it reversed. So I, I got uh, twitchy on the, the, the buttons there. <laughs> I got all right, as soon as I could, I put my, um, uh, hit my button and I got out at 23. So actually I made, uh, what was it? Um, uh, ENSV, ENSV I actually lost again on, on, uh, on this one here. So anyways, it was a poor day. That one, it was in at uh, 423 and 423 in and out at the same price but I had a locate cost of $59. So although um, I got out at break even, my locate cost took me into the red. So on those three trades on that one stock, yeah, I should have left it alone for the day, but um, you know, when the setup comes, it, it comes and you, and you go for it. But uh, you don't win all the time. My success is not 100%. It's at 82.76%. So I'm at like, uh, what is that? Uh, the 18% of the time I'm wrong. So if we continue on, I could have maybe made some money. <laughs> but uh, I moved on to a different stock. And uh, the next one we're going to look at is BMBL. And I'll quickly get going on this one. Okay, so we're crossing here below the blue above the orange. And this is about ready to cross above the stochastics above 90. And that's where I like to be to enter my short on this system. I have my red cloud, I have my averages, my blue below my orange, and I, my lagging indicator is clear of the cloud and clear of the price action. I am looking at going short. Where do I get in? This is where I get in. I've crossed where I wanted to cross. I've confirmed that cross by waiting the one candle. This uh, is actually starting to curl back down toward the orange. We're below the midpoint on the MACD. And uh, I feel like this is a good place to short. And here we go. So I would have had that up there. And let's keep going on this one. All right, here we go. We got that, that uh, tail. Again, another candle in another stock that just jolted like this, gave us that, that hair. As soon as that came back up, I'm like, oh, this is not good. I'm looking at getting out. I, I like to get out when this crosses, but let's see. Uh, right, so 
when I was moving down, I put my, my uh, stop here above the last red candle. So your first stop should have been moved here when that other candle came in. This would have been moved out. I'm feeling pretty good because we have the 50 actually moving below the 200. I'm thinking long term, this is going to be good. But when I saw this cross here and this cross back up above the orange line, you, I pushed the button or I had uh, moved the, uh, uh, the profit or the stop here. So this is also a bullish engulfing candle. So that really, um, um, that really, that's not a good sign either for a continue down. So what I'm going to do is uh, um, take the profit um, on that one. So the first trade, 400 shares on BMBL, um, shorted at 23.53 and got out at 23.40 with a 13 cent profit for a 52, uh, $52 profit. Okay. Um, going to continue on this one. I had one more trade with BMBL. I'll move ahead. And move back. <laughs> All right. So here we go. I'm looking at going short on this one because I did see momentum go the way that I thought it was going to from this. And I thought, okay, we're crossing again. We are going to break the two uh, hairs here. So that's why I have that line there. Let's move ahead. Okay. If I was doing it the way I should be doing it. At the end of this candle here, I should have moved my break even or my stop to here, right at the end of that candle. Okay. And boom, I would have been taking out for a profit. But in, in the end, I, I didn't move that quick enough. And I ended up <laughs> look at there's a major gap up here. I would have been taken out around here, uh, guaranteed to be taken out at my break even. So actually, in the end, the fills uh, gave me one cent. So I made four dollars on that. So I'm feeling real good. I'm only down. Uh, what would that be? Down like uh, I don't know, two hundred ninety. <laughs> um, oh, I give myself a slap on that one. Ichimoku short. No. Here. <laughs> okay. So now we we go on to the last trade of the day. And this one here I'd been watching for quite a while because it had come up on another trader's uh, system. Uh, AGRI was something that they were watching and something that they had actually been trading. Um, <clears throat> seeing that thing coming up and uh, take a look. I was kind of wanting to go in here, but because the cross of the uh, blue and orange, I decided not to enter the trade. I'm waiting on this to have the Ichi Mocha setup, and it doesn't happen often, but when it does, and it's a good clean setup, it's great. So here, the reason that I had set my in, my buy here, is simply because this is kind of the average. I always go the average of the highs and the lows of the top here. So I went here. I had my uh, my buy. I've got um, the MACD here. Actually, the blue is starting to cross above. It started to cur tur curl back already. Let me just take that back one. Okay. So I want to see this blue actually coming back to the orange. This cross down here, and I kind of like this. I like looking at the stocks like this because the momentum traders are looking at going at the high of day, which would have been around here. I don't mind getting in a little bit early, like I say, like taking the average between the highs and the lows between these pivots and stuff, and there's kind of putting it right in here. So I don't mind uh, having something like that. I want to make sure that like when I'm going in something that I'm maybe a little ahead of the game on the other traders. So it's that's the level I have set to buy at. 
if it breaks that level, uh, I'm looking at doing it. So at this point, the blue is starting to come back on the orange there on the MACD. And there we go. We broke through that. I took that trade, hesitated a little on this one. Thank gosh, but uh, I did get it on this one. And uh, of course, the, the clouds are all set up where green and blue is above the orange. We're way above the view app. We have the lagging indicator clear of everything, so we know that we're good to go. And there we go. I got out right there. I got out there because we started to cross into the higher side here. And it was a good spot to get out. What I do like to do, okay, is once you get into a trade and it did break like that, it never came down below the, if I can get that, oh no, if I can bring that down here. So I would have went, it respected this orange line here, right? So if I put my stop, like let's say here when this trade opened, I'm only risking 30 cents to a possibly quite a bit more, right? So your risk is, isn't uh, isn't uh, the risk reward ratio here is in your favor. But when this started to move up, I'll take it back. We'll go back to here. I entered the trade. Now, often people will say, well, how do you, how do you decide where you're going to put your stops or um, your profit taker or whatever you want to call it? For me, I'm, not, I'm not, never putting in immediately a profit taker. Uh, I like to see something take me out of the trade mechanically. So what I do is I go here. This here had closed, okay? So at the end of that, I'm, we're closed above. I'm going to immediately bring my break even to, or, or my, sorry, my stop rate to my break even. And there we go. We didn't get taken out of that trade. Sometimes you will. But that's the risk I'm willing to take because I have nothing to risk when I have it there. I'm risking nothing. So move ahead. Now, this is the next spot. That one closed. You would move, you would move your stop there. So our first stop was moved. Second stop's moved. Let's wait for the next candle. Now this candle, sorry, would have been the bottom of the red candle. Okay, bottom of the red candles on the way up, bottom of the, uh, or top of the, would it be the green on the way down. So put that there, move ahead. Yeah, so it's on the green candle. So the bottom of the green candles on the way up. Sorry about that. And there we go. So um, you would put another one here, bottom of the red candle like that, bottom of the red candle, continue on, and there you go. You would have been taken out at this one here. So I would have made a little less. The reason I got out was just because I seen this start to cross above, and normally when you have a large move, you're gonna have a bit of a, um, kind of like a mini pullback, uh, profit takers um, taking some of their profit back and then waiting for the break again to go back up, which it actually did. Uh, so in this instance, um, I made a little bit more because I kind of got out when I felt like uh, I was going to um, maximize uh, some profits. So this one worked out great. Uh, 2,500 shares uh, AGRI long at 395 and out at 466 for a 71 cent move, gave 775. Um, and trading this way, the Ichimoku or Ichimoka way, the Mocha is my strategy. So trading that way, you're, you're not getting a lot of trades. And you don't have the stress that you do as a momentum trader um, because you're looking at longer moves uh, confirming direction rather than um, a lot of people who are trading momentum are doing it a little bit more emotionally and you can see I've been started trading uh, 
um, on these systems uh, 31st of January 2022. Okay, and I only have 59 trades. Um, I think one of the guys in the uh, live trading today had 130 trades or something like that. He made about the same money I did. I made six trades and I made as much as he did. He's, he's going to have a lot more uh, fees, uh, brokerage fees, than I will. I'm going to have uh, very little brokerage fees. Uh, my percentage of success at this moment is 82.76%. Uh, Again, the reason is because you're waiting for the proper setups. And then uh, the profit loss ratio, 1 to 209. Uh, biggest loss is 280. Biggest win is 1775. So I hope you enjoyed uh, this video. It's not as long as my others. Uh, hopefully it's a little more clear. I did change some of the settings in my recording in OBS. So hopefully everything is the way it should be. So thank you uh, for watching and supporting the channel.